بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. By the passage of time, surely humanity is in grave loss. Except those who have faith, do good, and urge each other to the truth, and urge each other to perseverance. Every human being is at loss. Except, it's the summer holidays, a time all kids rejoice and parents begrudge. After a long, tough year at school, every kid relishes that much-earned break to kick back, relax and enjoy the sun. In their minds, summer consists of a concoction of games, gym, smartphones, TV and friends, with snacks, sleep and maybe a vacation scattered in between. Yet, the words of this verse ring in your ears. Every moment we have is a moment too precious to waste, and death can come at any time. Just this week, the community mourned the loss of Sheikh Muhammad al-Sharif at the young age of 47, a reminder that death can come to anyone at any time. We need to make the most of all that we have before it's too late. As parents, it's tough enough entertaining them for six weeks alongside work, let alone having to worry about the time they spend. Religion feels like another burden to bear. But the truth is, it doesn't have to. There are some really simple yet effective hacks you can do this summer to make yours and their time super productive. Balancing between fun and benefit in this precious holiday. Here are 10 hacks to help you parent like a pro to make this summer one they won't forget. Number one, make the most of game time. We know our kids will play PlayStation. Why not make that time more productive by putting on a lecture series or audiobook in the background? The science shows it can be a powerful way to teach a lot of content as the game occupies the child brain, which usually distracts them, allowing them to listen and absorb for longer periods of time without fidgeting. Even if they don't pick up 100%, 30% learnt is still 30% gained. This hack came from Sheikh Muhammad al-Sharif. May Allah bless his soul. Number two. TV time equals dhikr time. If you can't beat them, make them better. It's near impossible to eliminate TV entirely from our lives. Instead, why not give each person a dhikr counter or tasbih to use while watching TV? As they revel in catching all the Pokemon, they can complete a thousand subhanallahs along the way. Witness a blessing from your favorite YouTuber? Say mashallah. Seeing something haram on Netflix? Your dhikr reminds you to lower your gaze, say astaghfirullah and fast forward. It's a wonderful way to instill God consciousness whilst doing something mindless. Number three, find new ways to learn. Getting your kids to read a book can be a struggle. So why not ask them to watch a TV series instead? We've all seen the impact the film The Message had on our collective consciousness around the Prophet's story وسلم, when we were younger. So imagine introducing the next generation to something similar. Just like we re-watch Home Alone every Christmas holidays, make it an annual tradition to watch NBC's Omar series, for example, with your children, reminding them of the beautiful story of the greatest of creation. Number four, set tasks. Create a list of sunnas for them to complete. Scholars emphasize the necessity of imitating the beloved sallallahu alaihi wasallam in all that he did, even if it's just once in your life. Set this as an aspirational target for them each summer, 
making a checklist of all the different sunnas he practiced and marking them as you perform them. We've compiled a list of some of the more well-known ones to aim for, but there are many more you can add to. Join our mailing list to get it. Number five, join in. If you want your kids to do something, you have to do it first. Kids love nothing more than seeing their parents take part too, especially with a bit of competition. If you make this summer a set of family targets, it will make their and your enthusiasm and compliance much higher as you can each hold each other accountable and set rewards for one another too. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Talha again from Quran Club. We're going to pause here after the first five to give you some time to implement them. Inshallah, next week we'll release the next five hacks as well, so 10 in total. The summer holidays can be a really transformative time, especially if used correctly. So, really do try and take a couple of these on. It's amazing the impact these small changes can have on the lives of our kids. Jazakallah khair. Tune in next week for the next five. Remember to share and subscribe. And as always, keep us in your du'as. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.